Hello snowboarders the internet, I am your host TC and today I will be reviewing the new Arbor Carbon Coda. This board is equipped with Arbor's directional camber profile. So what that means is you're gonna have camber from contact point to contact point, but they're gonna actually shift the apex back a little bit more towards that back foot for you. So you do have all that power coming off the back foot when you need to drive turns or pop an ollie or even just get a little bit more float on the nose, it'll help it kind of rise in the front there with that setback camber. This board comes in a 155, 158, 159 wide, and 161. I rode this board at Copper Mountain where it started off beautiful and sunny on my way up the chair and then promptly once I got off, it just turned to super flat light, little bit of snow blowing, and it pretty much seemed like a storm was about to roll in, but it never did. It just continued to be windy, flat light, couldn't see shit all day. I used my Jones Mercury bindings and my Ride Fuse boots. When it comes to the flex, this board is gonna be stiffer than the middle of the road. That carbon web running through from nose to tail definitely keeps it stiffer, a little bit more aggressive on that side. When you do get to the tail, just like in the regular Coda, it does have a little bit more girth to it where you can step on it to really power through turns. When you get to the nose, it is gonna be a little bit softer than underfoot just cause you do have all of that real estate to work with. When you're going to foot steer it, it is foot steerable, but you are going to have to put a little bit more effort into it and kind of pay a little bit more attention. When you get over to the stability side, it is stable I will say, but when you are hauling ass at those high speeds, just be prepared, it still kind of wants to skip out on those chundery piles. When you're on the smooth groomers or those smaller piles, it's totally fine, it'll blast right through it, but those large ones, just keep an eye out for them. This board pops quite a bit better than the regular Coda, just because of that carbon web in it, you do feel a lot more snap out of this tail. That being said, it does take quite a bit more to load this thing up. It's not gonna be like a quick abrupt ollie or anything like that. Like you see a slow sign, it's like, I'm going right now. It's more of a, I see the slow sign coming, let me get ready for this thing. Where it has plenty of landing gear, so if you are going off a cliff drop or anything like that, you can land on the tail and feel safe with it bringing you back down to bolts, anything like that. It does hold a really good edge when you are popping off as well. When it comes to buttering this board, you're gonna be putting effort into it for sure. When I was buttering on the tail, I felt my myself having to shift way back, pretty much put my hip over the back of the tail, almost drag my hand to get it to pop up and I pretty much found the sweet spot, like right behind the binding here, not as far back as I really expected. When you're buttering on the nose, you do have quite a bit larger of a sweet spot, so right on that contact point is where I found was the money zone there. And I did have to shift my weight into it, but not quite as much as I had to on the tail, where pretty much my hips were right over that contact point. It held really well. It didn't get a lot of flex in between the feet for that really steezy butter, but it still holds pretty well for you. Now, when you're exiting your butters on the tail, it'll snap out for you. On the nose, it didn't snap out quite as much, but you did have to little pop a little bit and then it'll just pop right out for you. While you're here, why don't you subscribe, click that bell and turn on those notifications. This board carves just like the Arbor Coda with a little extra guts in it. So on those smooth groomers, high speed, low speed, short, medium, long carbs, it does it all on those perfect groomers where you can really dip into it, take that knee, press it towards the center of the board to really flex into that camber zone and use that power to drive it. When you get into the choppier sections on those medium carbs, it's not as sketchy as you'd expect if you saw the regular Coda review, where it does have a little bit more dampening to it. It's not gonna quite skip and jump over those push piles or anything like that. On the long drawn out carbs, it still does feel a little sketchy, a little choppy, but it doesn't feel like you're flopping everywhere. It does kind of power through a little bit more. Now, Euro carving, it'll Euro carve. Just make sure you're not about to Euro carve into a push pile because you'll skip right over that thing. So if you need to micro adjust in that Euro carve, it'll take care of that for you. The rider in mind for this board is gonna be somebody who's gonna be in that backcountry, that side country a little bit 
little bit more on that more aggressive terrain and staying away from the busy resort groomers as much as possible. If you want to support us further, head on over to our Patreon at Angry Snowboarder VIP. Sure, I could tell you about it here, but we have a great video over there, getting into it really in depth. I thought this board was definitely better than the regular Coda, uh, where it's more my style, more aggressive, more it could stand on that back tail and really know that it's still gonna land and that sort of thing. But I really wanna take this thing into the back country, really kind of ride it like Pat Moore would just to see really how it actually responds back there. Cause I wasn't super impressed on the groomers and the push piles and all of that resort action. So I just think it would excel for what it's made for, for Pat Moore's style of riding. Comparable boards. The K2 Alchemist, the Ride Deepfake, and the Jones Flagship Pro. Recommended bindings, the Arbor Cypress, the Jones Mercury, and the Ride A10. This has been my review of the Arbor Carbon Coda. If you like it, why don't you go check out one of the reviews from the comparable boards.